Dalai Lama was the only one of them who, who appeared to be um, living a life uh, that, that you could look at, look at his face and see nothing but pure joy. When my wife and I came to the Christmas Eve Eve service, um, we saw a lot of that same pure joy. And I thought, hmm, there's something going on here that, uh, that is, uh, that is uh, that, that's entirely different than any other church or any other religious <coughs> ceremony or event that I've ever, that I'd ever been exposed to. I really, really love the um, authenticity and the transparency of this church. And they really um, go hand in hand and when people talk about you know, the love and the acceptance, that's really a part of all of the, the transparency and the authenticity. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus, Jesus! the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning and shame, sit down at the right hand of God, Father Almighty. Consider Jesus, Jesus! so you will not grow weary or lose heart. No God's name is said. Amen! And I'll say what roped me in um, was the first time we came to Hot Metal, the very first Sunday that we showed up. It was just a few weeks after Hurricane Katrina had decimated the Gulf Coast, and the pastor got up and announced that we were renting vans and going to Biloxi, Mississippi to do relief work. That was it. I was hooked. This is my home church. At that point, I was um, really experiencing like a disconnect from what I was taught religion was versus what I thought religion was. And then I came to this church and it just felt like home. <laughs> it felt like this is where I belong, this is what God wanted in a church. I know uh, coming from a Mormon background, there were a lot of things where, a lot of times where essentially I was told I was an abomination for things that I cannot control that happened. <laughs> and when I came here, none of that mattered. None of that, I wasn't an abomination. I wasn't wrong simply for being who I was. I felt like this has been my church family since then. <laughs> The first time I remember sitting in the back of the church, I was alone and I just needed a place to feel free to worship and be forgiven. And I just needed a place to feel safe. I didn't want anybody running at me saying, hi, welcome, we're gonna pray for you, what's your story? I just wanted to know that it was okay. I was, I was there alone and we were standing and singing and Kathy, who I did not know at the time was Jeff's mom, was just walking up and down the aisle, singing as well and touching people and hugging people and she passed by and she touched me and smiled and it was the best way I could have been welcomed and I continued coming back to Hot Metal knowing that there were people that I could talk to if I wanted to, if I was ready to and needed to. But nobody was going to force me and that I was welcome. And like the cats were so cool, like, hey, be you, man. 
be you. We got you. Whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you are, we got you. We're just going to tell you about Jesus. And I had knew about Jesus because, you know, I did the Sunday school thing and the baptism to get the money from grandma and all that as a kid. You know, I ain't going to lie. Like I said, I come raw. But when he touched me, he transformed me. He turned me into a hustler of crack cocaine, into a hustler of the gospel. It's been pretty good. I ain't had a new charge since 2002. This is 2019, that's 17 years. And you can't really play church here. Like it's, it's real people and a real relationship. And that sounded like a breath of fresh air. So I came and checked out Hot Metal and I remember the very first time I was here and I said to myself, I don't totally get everything that's going on here, but it's real and it's good and I haven't uh, been to another place since. I started coming I was so moved by the fact that I felt like it was the first church I had been to where they walked the talk. I also had been in recovery for decades and it was the first time I would be moved to tears because the messages I heard in the sermons were exactly in sync with the spirituality that I was developing through recovery programs. And I also love the fact that anything that you wanted to do, they would get you involved. Helping people and building community, nobody acted like they were better than anybody else. And I love that Jeff always said, we don't know the answers, we're trying to figure it out too. After church, before they serve lunch, they would break down the chairs and then put out tables and put the chairs back out and, and he would always say it's going to be chaotic but just get comfortable with feeling uncomfortable and I thought that was so symbolic of life and how hot metal helps us to do that well. We packaged meals and we delivered them around the different homeless camps in the Pittsburgh area and I met a small group of the people that represent Hot Metal Bridge community, faith community, and I thought these people were awesome. They were talking the talk, but walking the walk more importantly, and it didn't matter at all that I was dating this woman that I was standing beside and holding her hand.